Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. I have another thrift haul for you guys from the Goodwill outlet, the bins. I have a little man in the background. You can probably see him playing Minecraft behind me. Well, that's his screen anyway. I have four big bags of stuff that I need to go through. So I'm gonna get started super fast and just get into it so this doesn't end up taking super long. So let's get going. I did run across a whole bunch of Torrid stuff in one bin, and I think it's kind of spread out through all, all these bags. So here we go. First item is Torrid. It's size 20, and these are some like Bermuda shorts, I think. The next, we have a top that I couldn't find a tag for, but it is absolutely beautiful. Stretchy. And I think I grabbed it for the content. No, maybe not. I was in a little bit of a rush and didn't go through a lot of stuff before I left. So that's what happens. All right, next piece is a pair of Born wedge sandals. This really pretty pink and gold trim, like braided right there. Then next, we have some Teva sandals, just some basic, super lightweight ones. And they are a size, I think they're an eight. Then next we have some, I believe women's Adidas shoes. They are the kind that don't have a break in the tongue right here. And they are a size eight. They're like this wine purple kind of color. The only damage I can see besides a little bit of wear on the bottom is maybe a teensy bit to the material right here. So um, I'll see if I can get that figured out. All right, next is a pair of tall boots, as you can see. Let me see if I can figure out the brand. It is Taco Comfort, made in Germany. They are leather, so they're suede. Um, and I don't know anything about them. I unfortunately had to leave the bins in a bit of a hurry because of some drama that was going on at home. So, um, yeah, what are you gonna do? All right, next we have BOC, Born Concept. They look just like dance goes and they are this like linen almost woven material. Really great condition. Just a little bit of heel drag on the bottom. Other than that, they're fine. And then we have um, another BOC Born Concepts. Same kind of clog shoes, but these are black. Pretty good condition. Really don't have a whole lot of wear to them. Just a tiny bit of heel drag right here. Also, probably by the same owned by the same person. Let's see if I can find a size for you guys. I am not finding a size. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look that up later. Let's see if I can find it in the other shoes. Um, no burst, it was right there. It looks like it's rubbed out. So I'll have to figure that out somehow. All right, next we've got some Kind of flats, there's a little bit of a heel. These great rattlesnake print loafers by Beast Fashion. And they are a size eight, really cute, little heel. Let's see. Then next we have Nayat, which is a great brand. Um, only the teeniest bit of wear up here. The bottoms look practically perfect. Um, this is a European brand, and so it has European sizing. Let's see if I can find that for you guys. 
There it is. Nope, that's not it. That's a tag. Oh, it's in the heel right here. Size 40. So that means they're about a size 10. Practically perfect condition. Great for this time of year. Next, we have Kulaburas. And these are some really cute thong kind of kitten wedge sandals. These really pretty coral flowers. Suede on the top. And they are a size eight. Pretty much perfect. No wear on them whatsoever. Next, we have some that I just didn't even realize were still in there, honestly, because I was in a rush to get out of the bins. So these are called Soul Tech. That's what it says on the bottom. Very interesting kind of mules. Seem like they might be cheaply made, but I'm not positive on that one. Looks like they might be a size six because of what it says right there, um, but I'm not positive on that. Don't you love the sun dots from my window? <laughs> All over my chest. Then we have a belt. And this one is by Omega. It's a braided belt. It says made in Turkey. Um, I don't think it says, oh, it's a size large. So that goes to the side. Then we have a pair of Ariat red boots. I believe these are women's. They do have a little bit of wear on the toe box but using some Wonder Balsam should take care of those right away. Looks like these are a size nine. I believe that's in women's, um, just because of how the pattern is right here, but I'm not positive on that one. So I will go ahead and look that up. Okay. And somehow I have a single shoe in here. Yeah, yeah, that's the kind of day it was, guys. And a hair claw that's broken. Yep. All right, on to the next one. You can see I have circles under my eyes, guys. I'm I'm a little stressed today and last four days. Anyway, okay, so the next piece does not have a brand on it, but I've been using this actually the last few days for some stuff when I had to be away from home for a little bit. And it's this super thick, like upholstery, kind of bag with these rope handles. I did use it for a little bit. I definitely don't need an extra bag. I just really liked it. It's almost like um, a rug. It's like a rug, um, but it's really great. It has a little magnetic closure right there. Um, that'll definitely be going up in my closet. Not sure how much. Next bag, guys. Next, we have a pair of silver jeans. As you can see, they are a size 25, have these great back pockets. And let's see if we can figure out what kind these are. So they're 25 waist, 33 length. I think it says Pioneer. I don't know, the tag is really worn out on the inside, which is funny because the outside does not look worn whatsoever. It's just the tag that looks worn. So these are definitely a boot cut, but they are practically perfect, guys. Okay, next item I was really happy to find. I've never sold this kind before. I've sold the dresses. I have another dress that I haven't sold yet. I need to get it fixed from my sister. But this is Gunny Sacks by Jessica McClintock. And it's just one of those little, uh, what do they call it? Little jacket, bolero, whatever, velvet. And it's vintage, size seven. Um, does have a little bit of shoulder pads in there. So it's probably from the 80s. Has a little bit of a puff sleeve. Great color. Not quite sure how much that one will go for. I think I looked it up and it was around like 45 bucks, but we will see. All right, next is a men's sweater, I believe, by Tasso Elba, Ella, Elba. Yeah, it's an extra large, completely cotton, great look. I thought it was a really neat piece, so I went ahead and grabbed that. Next, we have some more Torek. 
or denim. This is a size 18. There are these polka dot skinny denim pants, a little zipper on the side. Then we have some linen pants, which I pick up most linen, even if it's lower in brands, because they sell really well, just like this. Charter Club, not a brand I pick up, but this is 100% linen, black cropped pants, and they even have the little button on the side so that you can roll them and attach it right here. So they're all, almost more like um, Bermuda shorts. I guess. I don't know. All right. Next is a Columbia shirt. I believe this is men's. I see a lot of Columbia at my men's. It's a size extra large. Kind of a heathered look, like super lightweight. And then we have some page jeans. And these are the Montecito size 27, great condition. They look like a raw hem. I didn't have the time to look up to see if they're supposed to have the raw hem or not, because sometimes those are DIY raw hems and you never know, but we will check. Next, we have a really cute sweater by Rib Curl and it is a size large, really pretty. Love the different colored stripes almost tempted to maybe wear it once myself in one of my videos. Really cute. Next is a piece I grabbed for style alone. It is by Monto. I believe it's a small. Yep, it's a small. And it is a cardigan, hooded cardigan. But I grabbed it because of the pattern and the colors and it's very vibrant, very different, and kind of neat looking. Then we have a turtleneck sweater vest, and this is by Larry Levine, size large. It's definitely an oversized piece though, and it is a cotton acrylic blend. Okay, then we have a shirt that I got for one of my boys that's eight years old. And this is just Lee, size 10, 12. This great little plaid shirt. Next is one that I haven't looked up yet. It's by Active USA. And uh, it's just a size medium. It's this beautiful dusty blue open knit <coughs> sweater. He's got a cough. That's why he's home. All right, next we have uh, Micros. Micros, I'm not sure. Yeah. And I don't remember what size these are, but these are like some board short. Oh my gosh, guys. Do y'all see that? Can you see that? Garbage. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mm, on to the next piece. Purell. Purell. Okay, there's some more Torrid. <sighs> Size 18 S or short. These are the jeggings. Some more jeans. Oh, I've got the willies, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's one they don't pick up often. It is Old Navy, but it is XXL. And it's this really cute baby doll dress top. And it's just super pretty. Hopefully it photographs okay. All right, on to the next piece, guys. This is by American Eagle Outfitters. 
I just picked it up because of the style and the colors. C-A-K-E. And then next we have some Russell brand pants. These are size 36, 38. They are the Dry Power 30, 360, I mean. Kind of like joggers, zipper on the bottom. And then we have some where is the tag? Oh, there it is. Prana. Shorts. Kind of look like cover-up shorts. But I'm not sure. The color is off really bad on my ring light right now. These are like a dark olive green, but for some reason it looks like they're brown. They're not brown. They are a size large. Next, we have some Ann Taylor pants. These will probably, um, if they don't sell in the first month, will be going in a thread up box. I've started um, kind of here and there grabbing stuff like Ann Taylor, things like that, that I know will do good on thread up. Um, these have these really cool buttons on the back buttons on the front and they are kind of a wide bootleg sort of cut. Then we have a corduroy blazer that is Lauren Ralph Lauren and I am not sure of the size on this guys. I think it says 50 regular but I'm not positive on that. It feels like it's a 50 regular anyway. And then it has the elbow patches, which I know are a big deal. Here is a really cute, uh, seems kind of vintage, uh, leather Michael Kors shoulder bag that I thought was really awesome. Seems in really good condition. It has one of those little clasp things on the bottom. Lift, great condition on the inside. The only thing that's wrong is a little bit of wear on the hard hardware right here, but other than that, it's great. Then next we have a scarf, which I don't know why I got it. It's Columbia. So it's by Columbia. I knew there was a reason I got it. <laughs> okay. Um, seems really warm. I might wear it. It's starting to warm up, so I might not, might not need it anyway. We'll see. All right. Next is a leash. I know there's a lot of people that list dog stuff. This is Friends Forever, and it's a really strong rope leash. There's the other end of it. I will have to look this one up. It was in perfect condition, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Next we have GrandCoSandals.com. And this is what they look like really cute thong sandals, rubbery, size nine. Haven't looked them up. It says made in Taiwan. Then we have some bobs, which I never pick up ever anymore because they just don't make enough money for me. But the reason why I picked these ones up is because they have dogs, all dogs. The little stretchy thing on the back just some uh, wear on the bottom, just a little dirty. And they are a size eight women's. And then one more item that I did not look up, but these are a pair of those Nike shocks. And it says Turbo 11, the ones with the little shocks in the back. I figured they might be a good pickup. They seem like they're in pretty darn good condition. Uh, maybe just a little bit of wear on the toe box and the edges of the material and that's about it. They are a size eight. Doesn't say men's or women's. I'm assuming they're men's. 
Oh, it does look like they have a little bit of an issue right here. I should be able to fix that though. The swoosh right here is coming up. Um, but if I take some fabric glue, I should be able to get that back down and fixed. All right, guys, one more bag. We are on the stretch for the end. Okay, I keep meaning to look these up and I haven't yet. These are ones that didn't sell at the actual store and they are by Ufizi, Ufizi, I don't know. Very interesting shoes. Sorry, my lighting's really bad, guys. And they have this stitching all along the sides. They seem really neat. Their leather upper, um, it's called the Iris. They're size nine. So it's got a name for the actual shoe. So Ufizi Iris. For some reason, there's a cotton ball in the end. Maybe it helps somebody fit in them better, <laughs> I guess. All right, another pair of shoes. These are Polo Ralph Lauren Navy suede boat shoes. Only wear is on the bottom. They are a 100% leather upper, leather lining, and they are called the Millard. They're size 11D. I don't know what 11D means. Deep? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. And there's a the little logo right there. Um, they should go for a good amount, I'm imagining. And they're a bigger size, so that's good. Next, we have a Coca-Cola themed kind of a windbreaker with the Coca-Cola down the sides. I don't know why I grabbed it, but you never know. Next, we have Marlo Wynn for Chico's. This one was a little heavier, but it seems very substantial. It's got this very interesting um, sleeve and it's a cardigan. And it has this mother of pearl kind of square button for the pocket. This is a size medium. So it's definitely oversized. And then it has a very open side, like right under the sleeve, right under it. So we will see when I look that one up, what it's worth. Almost done guys. Here's some more Torrid. Right there, size 18. Looks like these are kind of a cropped length. That's not an imperfection. It's just like it's wrinkly. And some more jeans. These are the Gap Straight Cuff and they are a size six. They have this great little cuff, so they're kind of cropped. Another hair cloth. I don't know why I grabbed hair cloth, guys. All right, I believe this one is soft surroundings. Yes, it is. A little bit different. Soft surroundings, size large. This is kind of a cardigan with some different color and pattern blocking. Very different, kind of some layers in there. Then we have a piece that I'm going to have to repair myself unless someone wants to do it. Maybe I might just list it and say, hey, it has these problems. Some people know how to fix it. Um, it is by, it says El Condor, made in Peru. 50% uh, lana, which I don't know what that means. I do know that 50% acrylico means acrylic. So it's 50% acrylic, 50% something else. But it's absolutely adorable, guys. Look at that. Look at all those details. And then it's got a little hood and then more details on the back. So I'm not sure how much that'll go for, maybe 20, 25, but it does have a few little issues on it. Has an opening in the crochet right there and another one right here on the back, right where the base of the hood is. So whoever knows how to do crochet repair on that kind of stuff, uh, people that know how to do that do it pretty well. Um, but this is a beautiful piece and I couldn't leave it behind. 
All right, next is another torrid piece. And this one needs to be turned right side out. There it is. And it's a size torrid three. It's a sleeveless tank, a little pocket on the front and these little arrow patterns. And then we have a hoodie in a bright orange kind of creamsicle color. Makes me hungry for ice cream. By Roxy, which I don't normally pick up. Size medium, really great color. It's a lot more vibrant than it looks like in the video, just cause my color's off cause of where I'm at today. Okay, then we have some super soft pajama pants, size large by Honeydew. And they're this dusty blue with white stars. They're kind of joggers. Next, we have a tank top by Kim and Cami, size large. It's this neutral coloring. It has these little tassels on the bottom that are super cute. Then we have another large size piece. This is by Tech Gear and I only picked it up because it is a 2X. The pattern on it is really neat, and it is a hoodie. It has gathering on the bottom and then at the end of the sleeves. I thought that was a great piece. Then we have a Lulu's sweater. Really nice open back with a tie, and it is a size small. And then we have, I don't pick up very many vests, but I did grab this one because it's Coliseum Athletics and it is, um, I can't remember the name of the team guys. I lived in Texas. Why can't I remember that? Anyway, it's for Texas. I'm sure you all know who it is, but it's a white puffer. It's a size small, perfect condition. Almost done guys. All right, next we have Hugo Boss. These are some dress pants with a little cuff on the bottom. They definitely need a lint roll. They are a size US four and they feel like they are linen. Let me see if I can find out. polyester viscose wool elastane. So they are a wool blend. All right, next piece. It's another soft surroundings. It's this great lime green floral dress. And then the back has smock stretch smocking. Really pretty sleeves and looks like it's full length. I guess it depends on how tall you are, but it is a size large. Almost done, guys. Okay, then we have some Maurice's jeans, which I never ever buy, but these are a size 10 long and they are in perfect condition and they are boot cut. And it seems like they are um, mid-rise. And that is a good one. Okay, just a few more pieces. Next we have one I got for one of my boys, just because it's too funny. Okay, then we have some Nike Pro leggings. These are a size medium. They have this like highlighter color waist and the rest of it is like a stripe, a little swoosh on the bottom. Okay, then I believe the last piece, unless there's something around me I'm forgetting, which I don't think I am, is a really cool vintage piece, guys. And I sell some of this stuff every once in a while. This is by Country Set. And, oh my gosh, it's, it's cool. Dry clean only. I think it's a wool blend. Oh, hand sanitizer in the pocket. 
Dang it, I was hoping it was something else. Let's see if there's something in the other pocket. No, okay. So it's this really super cool 1970s blazer, guys. Look at that pattern. How cool is that? Yeah, so I'm probably gonna be listing this for 50 to 75 or something like that. This is one of those that, you know, it's got the split in the back right here and it's absolutely perfect. There is nothing wrong with it. This is one of those pieces that is just very, very rare to find. So, all right guys, that is it for today. I'm going to be doing another video tomorrow um, with some stuff that I found at DI today that was just so freaking amazing. So if you guys like these kind of haul videos, go ahead and hit the thumbs up for me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. And I will talk to y'all in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.